Kaya South era representative Julius Espat was absent from court today, where a hearing was held in the Chamber of Chief Justice Kenneth Benjamin. The matter arises from a claim brought by the parliamentarian after being unceremoniously ejected from the House of Representatives back in August. The exchange between Speaker of the House Michael Perfeet and Espat and his unparliamentary behavior resulted in a suspension that is being challenged in the Supreme Court. Litigation resumed this morning following an adjournment at the end of October. The defendants who are the Speaker, the Clerk and the Attorney General have offered no defense to the claim on the merits yet but instead applied to have the matter struck out on two grounds. They say that the courts lack jurisdiction to inquire into the internal affairs of parliament and that Mr. Espat has an alternative remedy for um, redressing um, what happened. This is to go back to the House for a resolution to terminate the suspension. Um, those are the grounds for the application. Since the last session of the House of Representatives on August 26th, a meeting that ended abruptly amid confused disturbance in the gallery as well as the chamber below, there's been no sitting. In fact, Espat has gone ahead to challenge the constitutionality of his suspension. Anecdotally, there is thought that a settlement is being brokered to secure his return to the House. According to Perfeet, he is unaware of any such discussion. I'm not aware of any um, definitive activities, now, naturally. Um, what I will say about part of the procedure today is that there is an alternative remedy in our view and naturally it goes with people f speaking to each other to see if you could come up with a res um, resolution to the matter. It happens in every case. Um, I am sure that there have been discussions but I have not been aware uh, or made aware of the results of any discussions. But I mean if the, there's a result then it, it doesn't matter to me what the result is. As it stands, Espat's suspension, whether or not it is lawful, has brought about a loss of income. More importantly, he has also been stripped of funds related to his post as an area representative. Those include the community vote as well as the office incidentals. It's a curious thing because if what happened wasn't a lawful suspension, then he does have that authority and he's being wrongfully prevented from exercising it. But as things stand, he's not um, welcome at, on the premises. Um, the officials there treat him as having been suspended. We're saying that there was no valid lawful suspension. And if there was no valid lawful suspension, obviously there can be no resolution to terminate what didn't happen. So that, that is not an option. And that was the argument that was presented. The next House meeting is tentatively scheduled for December 16th, a week and a half after the CJ hands down his decision on the matter. The question is, Will the People's United Party's deputy leader complete the 31 seats in that meeting? It's always my expectation that there will all be, we always be 31 members there. But the Chief Justice will make a decision on December 6th, so we will know whether or not one particular member will be allowed to be there, I suspect. Um, but what, whatever the Chief Justice decides, that's a decision that we will all have to respect. What um, the claimant is also asking for is injunctive relief. So I don't know if the decision on the application will also come with some injunctive relief. I don't know. Earlier today, government's lawyers made an application that the Supreme Court does not have jurisdiction over parliamentary matters. Senior Counsel Andrew Marshallek points to existing legal precedents. In short, in response to the, the application, we're comfortable that there is jurisdiction in the court, in the court to, to inquire into this matter where the Speaker has acted so clearly outside the scope of his authority. And, and wouldn't the, um, the authorities that you cited um, suggest that the court does have jurisdiction in this matter? Yes, no, no, this has happened before and those arguments have been run before and failed before. No, is there a parallel action? We've heard word of talk across the floor um, outside the House to bring some sort of action to reinstate Mr. Espat if we agree that he has been suspended. However, is there any parallel action to reinstate him in a, in a peaceable, non-confrontational, non, um, non-litigational non manner? Well, we have a problem in that 
he doesn't accept that he has been lawfully suspended and the speaker still insists that he has. And the only way to resolve that is exactly how we're doing it. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayatano.